outside and one for the end intelligent as fellas get Listen, let's settle this, be clear I could fall back seven years Still it ain't no one ahead of me Consider it a blessing if you get to stand next to me Five star general, OG veteran Alright guys, today is May um, 5th, because I leave for um, Rhode Island tomorrow to meet, see my mom. Um, I got up this morning, feel a little depleted, but actually, Brady's down here licking my fucking leg. Hey, what are you doing? I'm such a weirdo. See, he's got his fucking toys like all over the place. And then he's got a little bed he sleeps in when I shower. I'm going to check my weight this morning. Um, I started last week. Started my diet at 208 and yesterday I was actually down to 194 But I had a um, an all you can eat sushi meal, which actually definitely helps me retain some water So what we're gonna do is check our weight today and see where we're at for the week overall and see where we come in at So that would put me at about 10 pounds of fat lost this week in seven days time. So I'd say that, you know, as you start dieting, I call it intestinal mass. It's basically fucking poop. Not to overshare, but you wind up losing that as well as some fat and water in that first, you know, week or so. So it definitely is not just all fat, but you know, there's definitely fat loss happening. You know, there's no doubt about it. Like even in this lighting in the bathroom, you can see that, you know, my obliques and stuff and all the way right down to my bottom of my lower back is starting to come in already. It's been a week, which is, you know, which is good. You don't have to take fucking a month to see fucking results. Sort of tell people all the time, if you're legitimately, you know, dieting and training year round, let's zoom this back up, then you're going to see results pretty fucking quick. So the idea is to try to get down to about maybe 180 pounds. So 17 pounds, 17 more pounds in uh, two months is what I got to come down, which obviously if I drop 10 already, you know, it's going to slow down a little bit as I go along, but I can drop four to six pounds a week on average. Usually this is 10, so it's above average. So four to six pounds on average. And, um, you know, we'll see where we're at. So the idea is to just keep coming down, getting leaner, leaner, leaner to the point where, you know, you're, you need to be on stage and then. You don't have to manipulate shit and cut fucking water and do all that crazy shit for the last, like, you know, three or four days. If you're ready two weeks out or a week out, then you're where you need to be. I'm fucking Brady down here. Play with this monkey. What do you got over there? You got your monkey? Your monkey and your little pound puppy? Yeah. They should see you trying to sit in that bed. It's, like, way too small for you. I'll be late anyways, huh? All right, Daddy, get up and go do some fasted cardio, okay? We gotta do your little walk first before we go to the gym. Then we gotta go hit fasted cardio. How you feel after a week on the diet? Pretty good? How you feel? Wait. Boop boop. You tired? Ah. <laughs> Let's go. All right guys, we're back from the gym. Did our cardio, fast cardio this morning. Now it's time to feed Brady, feed me, and oh, get this day started. Did my emails from the fucking treadmill already? So right now what I'm doing is I feed Brady. I give him that much rice, which we don't weigh his macros out either. We just fucking feed his ass. And give him some of his dog food. So he had a giardia, which is like a, um, like a parasite, I guess, or some kind of fucking weird like thing when he was a, like a newborn pup. And basically it gives them diarrhea and causes them abdominal distress. Like he woke up in the middle of the night one night and he like made this howling whining noise and he was in pain. I could tell he was only a couple weeks old. I only had him for a couple weeks. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with him? I went to grab him to be like, you know, it's okay, buddy. I thought he was freaked out because he was in the new house and stuff. He like wailed when I fucking touched him. He fucking freaked out. So I wrapped him up. I put his uh, little jacket on. I took him to the emergency vet. And it turns out he had giardia, which was like this causing this abdominal distress. 
So ever since then, we were, to get rid of the diarrhea that he had, we were giving him... Um, uh, let's fix his fucking camera angle. Shit, it's fucking... Oh. <laughs> we were giving him um, rice and chicken. We were making him so that it would take care of his stomach issues. Boiled rice and uh, boiled chicken. So ever since then, we've been giving him the rice. It just helps keep his poop like fully formed, not to overshare, but it helps with his stomach. And he likes the rice anyway. He loves the rice, right, buddy? You like the rice? He's down here. Like, like the rice? Oh, daddy, get the food. Oh, he sits. Good boy, he sits. Come on. Yeah, like, go here. Come here. Come here, buds. Here you go. Look, get your foods. Atta boy. Come here. Get your foods. Oh, you think that'll be an asshole now on camera, huh? Look. Oh, there it is, buddy. Knock yourself out. Yeah, the rice is under there. I know you're looking for it. It's in there. I promise. I promise. It's in there. Fuck that, Dad. I want the rice on top. He's weird. He's like, is that a camera, Dad? Jesus Christ. Eat your food, you weirdo. All right. Time for us to make our first meal, which is the shake. It's the oatmeal turbo. Fix that fucking camera angle again. It's our turbo oatmeal shake. With uh, protein powder. Now, I just want to say, let's if I can put this on the refrigerator over here. I actually had a um, comment in the comment section that told me how to put that fucking filter on here to make sure that it fucking works. And I actually changed the filter and got that fucking light to go off. So I'm super excited about that. So I can actually use the the water thing, which is filtered from the fridge. What a fucking pain in the ass it was to put that thing in. I mean, actually, it only takes a second, but like to get the fucking light off. It's like a filter light that was lighting up, and people were like, yo, your filter light's on. It was fucking such a pain in the ass to figure out. It was like stupid easy, too. You, like, you just push the button and hold it for three seconds, and it fucking fixes it. Oh, God damn it. So thank you to whoever, if you're watching, thank you for telling me how to push that fucking button so that it fucking reset the thing, because, I don't know, it'd still probably be fucking on if you had it. So, all right. One packet of oatmeal, which comes out to 18 grams of carbs. Not that I'm counting carbs, but. All right. So we hit that one. And we're going to go with the peanut butter protein powder again. Uh, peanut butter flavored protein powder again. Right, Braids? Yeah, he's done it. He's like, Dad, you got protein powder, Dad? I like protein powder. You never even tried protein powder, you weirdo. Stop licking the floor. Hey. Stop licking the floor. Something on the floor. Like, there's probably food on the floor, dude. He thinks that food grows out of the floor because you know, if you drop something, he doesn't know it came from up, fucking up here. So, get on it. Hey, knock it off. All right, let's get this done. We'll get to the gym in a little while. And fucking get this shit fucking started. To actually show him that the rice was actually in the bowl before he would eat. Huh. It was underneath the dog food, so you were being picky, huh? Yeah, listen. Eat the food. Mm -hmm. For Christ's sakes. Today we're going to do some actually unilateral leg work today, which is uh, a little bit different. I was going to do leg presses to start, but uh, of course, I'm at the gym where I came to so I can get on early equipment, and somebody's using the only leg press that I can use. So we'll start with uh, leg extensions, one leg leg extensions. And try to warm your knees up a little bit. One leg at a
as easy as it looks, trust me. What you want to do is make sure you get a good squeeze. So you're not throwing the weight up. Fix that fucking camera angle. Not throwing the weight up, you're actually squeezing the weight up. So it's like, you can feel the muscle extend. It expands, it contracts, expands, it contracts. And you're trying to shorten the muscle itself. Like you're trying to think about actually shortening the muscle rather than just moving the weight. So you can actually just throw the weight with your leg. You feel pressure on your kneecap, like you're in the, the lower portion of the knee, like right under the kneecap. That's how we want to feel it. You want to feel it in that teardrop area, which, you know, some people say if you tilt your toes out or in, they actually did Muscle Meets Magnet. It's a book that um, proved depending on where the foot placement is. It activates different parts of the quad, more so than others, but um, I don't know about that, that bullshit, but, you know, this is what it is. So we're going to get hit three sets here. We're going to hit three sets of, somebody corrected me, not sissy squats, but Roman chair squats. Um, walking lunges, and I think we'll do the ham tractor today. We'll go heavy with the ham tractor and, uh, or the seated leg curl. So we get a couple more sets in here and then move on. Hit some of the Roman chair squats now. Just with the body weight, obviously it's both legs. You're not doing a fucking one-legged Roman chair squat because then it'd be a, some like a steady, uh, standing place lunge. Um, notice when I do these, so the range of motion is not like a full sit back and stand straight up. It's actually sit back and push back when you come up. So as my body comes up, you notice I'm back on an angle a little bit. Actually puts the tension on the quads and takes it off of the, uh, the knees. So you'll see what I'm talking about. It looks a little strange, but just try it that way. Try it, you'll enjoy it. Or you won't enjoy it, it'll hurt, it'll suck. Feet pinned in. Sit back and then lean up. There, all the quads. See if you go all the way up and do this, it takes the pressure off the quads. It's See the actual range of motion on the reps is kind of different for each rep. Nobody said that each rep had to be a full range of motion. Nobody said that each rep had to be identical. What is the definition of a rep? You know, Mike Menser was the one to come up with this theory. And there are points in the set where you see me come up and go all the way up, which actually gives my quads a rest for a second. Let some of that lactic acid kind of get out of the muscle a little bit so I can continue the set a little bit. So it's almost like resting during the set for like a second or two. Um, it's just another technique to use while you're training. It's, it doesn't make you any bigger or any faster, just, just another way to train. All right, so far we've done two exercises. The third coming up, my quads are completely pumped after just those two exercises. It's hard to even bend my knees. Pump really doesn't mean anything. I'm not trying to get my legs any bigger. I'm just trying to keep them where they're at pretty much right now. So we hit walking lunges. I'll set up the camera right here. If you guys may or may not be able to see my form, but I like to try to really push my hips forward on the lunges so it actually engages that hip and hamstring a lot more than just the quad. I've already done two exercises now that basically are quad dominant. And um, we're gonna start moving in towards the hamstrings and the, the glutes a little bit more now, so. Fuck, it hurts. Soon you're gonna get so many.
my vape. <laughs> Did you know I was there? I heard boop. boop. What's that, eggs? What came first, what the, the chicken fuck? or the eggs? All I eat are eggs or in the, what they grow into. This is it, okay? Everything in my life revolves. They start here. I came home and big. she was like, bark, 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 bark. she clucks now. Feathers. Do you hey. see feathers in the backyard? Your dog is being a little feathers. shithead. Hey. You want to punch Nelly? When he's a shithead, he's your dog. He's my dog. When he's a snuggle monster, he's mine. I'm going to go show them something wicked cool that I just remembered. So I just got home. Aaron's cooking. And I realized I haven't showed them Glow Bowl yet. <gasps> what did you not show them? Glow Bowl. The super gimmicks. Show me yours. Yeah. <laughs> the blue one. <laughs> so there's we have two of them in the house. And they're the, the coolest fucking gimmicks. I got to... Because the glow bowl is fucking cool as shit. Everybody's going to want one. That's why. All right. This is my bathroom in here. So Aaron has a bathroom and I have a bathroom. There is the toilet. Watch what happens when we shut the toilet off. <laughs> the toilet bowl glows. Check it out. Mine glows blue. We can have... Ready? Get out of the toilet, you weirdo. You can have blue or purple or clear or red or yellow. Looks like pea or green. Or that one's like a weird color. I like the purple. We'll leave the purple for now. So basically what it is is uh so now it's got the purple glow. When the light goes on, it's it's activated by that little thing right there, which is um it's motion activated. So in the dark, when you walk in, it automatically goes on, so you can actually pee in the dark and not have to turn the light on and wake yourself up. Fucking coolest thing ever, the glow bowl. And I like got one in my bathroom, I got one in Aaron's bathroom. Highly recommend them, right, Brandy? How cool is it? He's fucking tired. He's had enough.